Welcome to IBC 2022. It's been three long years since the world's most inspiring content and technology event occurred in Amsterdam. And Broadcast is here in Europe to engage with each other, unlock business opportunities, discover the latest innovations, and explore the exciting world of content. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Charlie of Tyline. Hello. Good to see you again, Ashley. It's been about three years since we last been together at this show, so it's yeah. good to have us all back again. It sure is. It's been a while. So that being said, you have a couple of new things going on over here. What, what do we have here? What are we showcasing? Definitely. What we're showcasing um, at IBC this year is um, our Gateway 4. It's a, a audio over IP codec that also has media conversion for different AIP standards. So this is the unit here. Um, essentially, it will enable um, customers to have a, a WAN bridge between different sites. So in one particular site they will have Ravenna and another site they may have Livewire. We're able to convert the audio from both of those sites with all the routing protocols for those sites and carry it across. And why would something like that be so important? Well essentially what it does it enables customers to reduce the amount of hardware that they have and it solves a lot of problems of interoperability with different um, AIP standards all within the one box, as well as being able to interconnect them. That's the most important thing is, for example, they would have in, in London, they may be running a Ravenna network, and in Sydney, they could be running a Wheatnet network, and they're able to transfer the audio across between those two sites. Whereas natively, between the two protocols, they don't talk to each other because they're one's open source and one's proprietary. And so what else do you have here behind me that you're showing right now? Uh, so we're also showing um, some enhancements that we've done to our uh, portable codec. So we've had some more processing in, into the unit itself. Uh, we have a new HTML5 web server, um, which is for managing all the smartphone reporters using our smartphone codec app. Um, in addition to that, we're also showcasing um, a reported app with uh, relays, uh, been able to trigger Relays remotely in a studio where you can change the mix or start automation software or stop automation software remotely. And so what kind of trends as far as technology in the media and broadcasting market have you noticed and how have you adapted with them? Um, increasingly what we're seeing is um, more and more demand for supporting a wide variety of the standards, be those standards proprietary or open source. And hence that's why with our product, The Gateway, we've adopted and embraced a lot of open standards such as A67, uh, the SIMSTI 2110-30 uh, for, for audio. And we have Wheatnet IP, we have Livewire Plus, we have, um, we'll have support for Dante, and we've got Ravenna and we have um, NMOS. So it's a whole wide variety of standards that are all housed within the one box. Very nice. Well, thank you for showing us all of these things, and we look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks very much. Have a good show. Thank you.